The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. The foolish men of God are wiser than the wisdom men of this world, said Bible doctrine. The foolish men who are been here accounted of are the one who put their trust by blind faith in the word of the Lord. Job said, though he utterly slays me, then too I will trust in him. We, the Christian, the Matthews, who have been taken care after the resurrection of our Lord, believe no matter what, it is better to fear God rather than men, said the Apostle Peter. The great one apostle to the Gentiles said, For me to live is Christ, and, die is prof and dying is profitable. They were the great wise men of all time, which the world can never know. The reasonings of this world will take you all to reason as per the thoughts of men. But we have a greater reasoning than these thoughts of men in this world, which is nothing but the pure mind of Christ. Human collections of wisdom are but the thoughts of men. What we think like ourselves, what we can imagine like ourselves. But in the Bible, we have the wisdom literature, the wisdom literature of God. So that, though we are foolish enough to believe each and every word in the word of the Lord, that is the only power to those who believe, those who are perishing. It may be foolishness to them who don't believe. When we say it is no more works by faith alone in Christ alone, you just go and express volition in your privacy of your priesthood to believe in the Lord, people may laugh at us, but we don't care. The grace provision is a simple work. This grace work is a simple reality of the truth. But certain men who fail to expose the truth as it is have caused a great error. And these certain men who are wise enough into the realm of their thinking, Jeremiah 8-9 stands written for them to the reprimandation of their thought, the wise men are being ashamed, they are being seized, they are being dismayed, they are being confused. Why? Because this wise men whom the world is thinking now after believing in Christ, they are wise. They have rejected the word of the Lord. And our Lord calls, what wisdom is there in them if they reject the word of the Lord? By blind faith to believe upon the Lord, then what? It requires Bible doctrine to be wise enough towards the works that pertain to your salvation to show forth in the holy manner of walk of life, in the manifestation of Bible doctrine, in a day-by-day -day process of inculcation of biblical truth. As never before it demands doctrine. You believe it, consider it, take it or not. After salvation, we are being called to look upon doctrine. Everywhere in the scripture, we find the very breathings of Lord God the Spirit. And this is amazing grace. To think that he who spoke worlds into being, who brought redemption, who shall eventually bring in a new heaven and a new earth, wherein dwells righteousness, that he, the high and lofty one, that inhabits eternity, should stoop in grace to give instruction for the details of his creature lives. In fact, even to the minute details, not just details. Down here, because this will be the great cause of worship and admiration forever. And what importance attaches to all? 
if God who created and redeemed us does not consider it beneath his notice to instruct us concerning our behavior towards our family, society, methods of business. And if we act in accordance with the book of Proverbs which has been written, I shall behave myself wisely in a perfect way. In every relationship of life we ought to, provided we have the wisdom when we don't reject but daily intake the word of the law. It is of a great work, dear brethren, that you and I have to go through. It is of a great work, dear brethren, that you and I have to give number one priority for the word of the Lord. And which way you want to go, you decide. We shall continue in the next step. What wisdom you have, you prove it. Without doctrine, though you believe by blind faith, by foolish people becoming wise in the sight of Christ, and rejecting doctrine, there is no wisdom in you. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge our in Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.